Here we go, on our way to work. What do we got in the trunk? I know what you're thinking, a dead body rolled up in carpet. They don't fit in the back. I saw a YouTube video that proves that. So, we have the J Plus Booster 2 with the Nax or J3400 or Tesla handle on it. This is not an adapter, this is a real deal. They actually have them being built right now with the Tesla N specifically for your Tesla. And I'm telling you guys, that handle is like butter. Uh, the molding on it was excellent. The tooling is excellent. So what a bit of that. We already went through all that. So what are we doing tonight? Well, we're gonna hook it up at work, charge the car. Uh, it should be about one kilowatt. We're using the NEMA 515 outlet. So just your standard 115 volt here in the US prong. And uh, we'll see what it does. We're uh, on our way to work right now. We're at 37%. I suspect we'll get there about 35%. It is 91 degrees out. It's 7.15 in the evening. And uh, should be uh, should be a pretty good uh, charge cycle tonight, even at one kilowatt. It's free, so why not? We'll see you guys when we get to the right, lab. I guess we got the big end on this sucker. So we have not plugged it in just yet. And you can see, man, we have just got a a uh, full sun still. So let's go over here to our secret hidey hole. And we are in like Flynn. We should be lighted up. We are straight to 12 amps, which is exactly where we should be. Now let's go plug her in. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I love it when everything works as directed just so freaking smooth communicating and charging let's see what we're gonna get for the evening kids boy that sun is brutal all right as projected one kilowatto at 12 amps pulling at 119 volts us <laughs> a long time to get to 75 percent let's just go ahead and dial that down here just a, a skosh since we're not gonna hit that regardless. So that should recalibrate here as soon as it figures it out. Hey, nine hours and 10 minutes. I work a 10 hour shift. So that's cool. We'll get to at least 50% from 34. We'll see how accurate that is. It's quality equipment on both ends, the J Plus Booster 2 and the car. I'm sure it's pretty accurate. So we are at 736 right now. Had to stop and get some candy for tonight because I have a sweet tooth. So, nine hours and 10 minutes, we should be at 50%. I have a 10 hour shift. I'm out of the door about 6.30-ish, somewhere right in there. We'll see what it looks like. Check in in the morning. One other piece of uh, valuable information, sentry mode is off. Nothing's gonna happen back here. I do have the vehicle preconditioning on, but I'm going to turn that off as well. It's gonna be 101 tomorrow. It's gonna to be 70 by the time I leave. It does not need it. So, sentry mode is off. Vehicle preconditioning will be off. So this is just gonna be a straight charge for the car with no interruptions. Just wanted to make sure that we were perfectly transparent. See you guys in the morning. All righty, here we go, man. We're like 10 hours later, I am ready for bed. And, hey, I see a green light. And we looks like we are not charging, but the light is still good. So no faults were tripped. Car doesn't show a charge. Hopefully we're sitting at 50% right around in there somewhere. And charge complete. Hey, look at that. Very cool, man. No error codes, no nothing. Everything went exactly as it should. And again, zero of 12 amps, so we are not charging. That's pretty great. The uh, survived a, a one night jam session. So that's cool. We're going to do it again tonight. But um, I'm going to get this all compiled up and we'll get this video loaded. I do want to sit down with you guys and just go over a few things um, about the company. I, I cannot say enough good things about these guys. Uh, a couple of little points I need to clear up with you guys. But other than that, phew, the there's your proof, man. All night long with no issues. We'll see you guys on the next one.